Hi, it's Terry, and I'm back with another video all about adding blog apps to other pages. I brought you back to our fruit shop website just to introduce the topic that we're going to talk about now how to add blog apps to other pages, how you would go about doing that. And I would love to stay in the fruit shop theme, but our fruit shop website here is a one page anchor page website. We don't really want to put a blog necessarily on this page. We're going to have to jump outside the fruit shop theme I'm going to take you to a template I created in the Pixel Perfect Builder that should prove useful to demonstrating to you how you can use these blog apps in your page building. So let's head over to My Sites List. I've brought you to a site I've built in the Pixel Perfect Builder when I was just learning. I built it kind of like an exercise. And we're in preview mode right now because I wanted to show you what I've built so far. When I was going through the exercise of building this site, I did include a blog. So we'll come over here. And this is a blog. I just added it with the Add Blog app and made some refinements. So this is the news feed page. And I, I did a little bit of customization not a lot but I also have an issues page here that I haven't really filled anything out I had a video in there at one point a video holder and I thought this would be a really good place for a blog or a, a compilation a way of accessing what the this pretend candidate would have to say on the issues one thing I should mention here on the blog page on the newsfeed page if you notice I created categories I have a category for events a category for issues and a category for campaign news so let's go back to the issues page and as I'm talking about what I want to put here I want to put a news feeder of just the blog posts about the issues so let's return to the editor. If we click on the plus, our elements icon, and come down here to the bottom of our list, we have blog apps. And you're going to find a lot of little apps that you can install and put on your pages. What we're looking for is a new slider right here. So I'm going to click on that. We'll close this now. Let me resize it a bit. Make it a little larger. I have a text box I can associate with it here. So let's right click on this element, this new slider element, and go to configure. And I would have several choices here. I could just show the featured content and mark any of the blog articles that I want included on this page with the featured. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to filter by category. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose issues. I could also filter by tag, but I don't have any tags created on this mock-up of an account right now. Here's where you would adjust the speed and the amount of news. I think, well, let's see, it's a candidate. Let's go ahead and see. You can go all the way up to 20. And then we also have an effect we can choose. We can either fade the image or slide it. I think we'll choose the fade. Click out of that. Now let's right click and look at the style. Here we have the title style. Let's brighten that up with a different color. Let's use our red and let's bold it and let's make it larger. Date style, I think it needs to be a little larger. We can choose the format, of course, switch it. Choose to hide the title if we want to. We want to keep it on here. And we could show the image or not show the image. I want to, of course, keep the image there. I think I'll change this text to black. Let's look at that. 
Well, that's a good place to start, and you can see pretty much what I'm talking about here, I think. We could change this body to a different body style and pump it up a bit. When you come in here to the elements, you can add them to different pages. For instance, let's put an RSS feed on this page. This is a political candidate. Probably would need one. Let's put it right down here. We could also put it in the footer or the header, but I think we'll just leave it here for right now. Another thing you might want to consider on this page is a, perhaps a date filter. We might want to consider putting a new search on this page. Now one thing I would suggest is that as you're building these out, we're not on a banner on this page yet, which is absolutely essential. So believe it or not, I'm going to lower my footer. I want to make sure it's done properly. If you don't put your elements in boxes and banners, it really makes your mobile optimization wonky. So let's add a banner. I'll bring it down, bring it up a bit. Now I can bring my elements down here on the banner. You never have to worry about messing something up. There's always a way. So see, even if you forget to put your banner on there, you can kind of fix that really quick. Let's bring this down too. And now I have it on a banner so I can pull it up, then bring my footer up. Now that we have our elements properly on a banner, let's right click, change the appearance of that banner to white, and we'll make sure it's snugly up against our header because we want to make sure that when our elements, these elements get placed on the page, they stay where we put them. So let's move this out of the way at the moment and think about how we're going to design this page. I'm going to add my guideline, my grid line, and I'll put my news slider right there next to it and maybe even make it a little larger. I don't even know that we need this text, but I'll leave a text box on the page. Let's pull a news search down here and we can make it a little shorter and we'll get our candidate down here. Put our RSS feed down here prominently. It might be a bit too large. Let's make it a little bit smaller. See how easy it is to resize, replace, get everything center just the way you like it. I'm going to center this and I have one more app I want to put down here I think at least. So we're going to come to the plus down to the blog apps. Actually I see two. I'd also like to add the categories and we have a choice here between categories that list the um, what the categories are and then we have categories that list how many articles in each. Since this is a public figure, maybe we'll, and it's during an election time, supposedly, we'll click this one, add it to our page. You can see it's just a process of finding out where you like these. We need to make this a little larger though. In fact, I think I'm going to make our candidate a little smaller. Move this down a bit. Let's add the other app I want to add, which is a date filter. So I'm going to place these here. I'm going to bring this back up here, right next to our grid line. I'm going to duplicate my tech box. I'll make a title here for search our blog, search by day. You can see how easy it is to duplicate these elements and edit them. Now let's change the size of that text. I think 24 is good. Change the size of this text and then it's just a matter of alignment. We can remove these now, move our ruler. Let's take a look and see what this looks like and that looks pretty good I think and that's how you would Use those apps on an existing page or a blank page or on other website pages to create just the type of information feed that you want to create from your blog. I hope you had fun watching me move through this abandoned template and demonstrate how to use this 
and I'll see you in the final video of the Creating a Blog series.